Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to another New Makeup Sunday. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit different this week as far as filming style goes. We just have a really busy weekend coming up and I normally film these on either Friday or Saturday um, to post them on Sunday, but this weekend is just going to be too crazy. I know I'm not going to have time to sit down and film a dedicated video. So what I thought I would do is just flip the camera around and every day as new products come in, I'll just do quick unboxings and then just put them all together. So you're still gonna see all the same products you're just not gonna see me sitting here you know holding things up so it'll just be a little bit easier for me this week but hopefully next week I'll just go back to my regular videos as usual so this style is just gonna be for this week and next week I'll go back to the way I usually do things um, it's just gonna be a crazy busy weekend so I hope you guys understand um, so anyway uh, let's get into the video and see what I hauled this week Hey guys, so I just got a box from a new brand called Mavie Cosmetics and they're gonna be launching on November 6th. They have eyeshadow palettes, blushes, and lipsticks as part of their initial launch. And I did speak with the owner via email when she asked if I wanted to review her collection and she didn't give me pricing information but she did say that the products won't break the bank so I'm not gonna be able to let you know the prices um, right now but um, I guess we'll all find out together on November 6th so I just wanted to show you what was in the box there's still lipsticks in here but I'll start with the palettes and they're all nine pan palettes and I think the packaging is really well done. Everything comes in a little sleeve and then on the back it just has the um, address of the brand that it's cruelty free. These palettes are made in China but the blushes and lipsticks are made in the US. So let me just show you what's inside. This one is Take Me To Hong Kong. That's a really, really pretty colorful palette. And then there's also Take Me To Stockholm. So that's this one, has some really pretty neutrals with a few pops of color mixed in. I love this green right here, that's so pretty. And then Take Me To Santorini, it's just like a really fun, bright, tropical palette. Take Me To Los Angeles is more of a neutral palette. This kind of reminds me of the Juvia's Place Warrior palette a little bit. Um, kind of similar vibe going on with the golds and the bronzes, just really, really pretty. And then this one is Take Me to Tokyo. This is a really, really bright, fun palette as well. And then here's Take Me to Paris, which is the last one. And I don't know why, but these colors kind of remind me of ice cream or macaroons. They're just so pretty. So um, let's go ahead and just swatch a couple of these shades so you can see what the pigmentation is like. That is stunning. Let me see this one. Wow, these are gorgeous, at least swatch-wise, they're amazing. Let me try a matte shade. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, I think these are gonna be really, really good. Let's try this one. Oh my gosh, you guys, this pigmentation is insane. Wow, all right, I'm really, really excited now. They're just like the mattes are just so velvety and soft and the shimmer shades go on like butter. So this is gorgeous. I will definitely do a whole video on these and swatch everything. So definitely stay tuned for that. There are also two mini four pan palettes called Hustle and Bustle. So this one is number one and this one just has your basic sort of everyday neutral shades. And then number two has more like pinky, sort of rosy tone. And then there are four blushes in the line and these are the motto blushes. So each one has a little motto on it, like I can and I will do it for you, take the risk and let your light shine. So those are really cute as well. Let me just swatch some of these and see what they look like. This color looks like it's gonna be so pretty. Just like a really pretty peachy pink. That one's really light. So that one's really pigmented, but I feel like the other ones are more powdery and a little bit sheerer than the eyeshadows are, which may not be a bad thing when it comes to blushes because obviously you don't want clown cheeks, but the formula definitely feels a bit different. I think the matte eyeshadows had definitely more of a velvety feel and these felt more on the powdery side. So I'll have to play with these on my cheeks and let you guys know, but um, I do like the colors. I think these are really pretty. 
And then last but not least, there are eight lipsticks in the collection. They all come in these little pouches and they just have sort of positive messages on them. So this lipstick's called Positivity and the lipstick tubes are sort of an oval shape. They're almost like little mini lipsticks. And uh, let's see what these swatch like really quick. Okay, so it feels really super creamy and buttery. Um, so this shade is actually really pretty too. So far, you guys, I am really, really impressed with this line. I'm hoping that the prices are decent as well, but um, just swatching everything, I think that, I don't know, I think it's gonna be good. Good morning, guys. I just got a box from the brand Found, and this is a brand that's exclusively at Walmart. And I've talked about their products on my channel in the past, um, I think earlier in the year when they first launched. So they sent me some more products to try. I'm not sure if any of these are new. I kind of don't remember seeing them before, but maybe they're not new, I'm not sure. Um, so first is their makeup removing balm, and this says a nourishing cleansing balm that melts away makeup and impurities, 90% natural. So that's interesting. I'm always up for a new cleansing balm. And this one is their fruit alpha hydroxy acid peel pads, and these are 91% natural. It says gently exfoliates to even skin tone and reduce the look of pores. And I have to say too, all of this stuff is really reasonably priced as well. Um, this is their cucumber cooling stick. Cools, calms, and deep puffs the look of skin. This one is 98% natural. And then they have a seaweed water cream, which is 92% natural. It's a brightening formula. It says, provides intense hydration to moisturize and plump. I really wanna take a look at this and see what the texture is like because there are so many like water creams in K-Beauty and I'm just wondering if this feels anything like those because that would be amazing. Okay, so here's what it looks like inside. It's really like light, almost like bouncy jelly texture. I just put some on the back of my hand. My hand looks and feels really, really hydrated right now. Um, and it kind of has like a very light floral scent to it, almost like um, I kind of pick up some cucumber in the scent. So um, yeah, I'll definitely have to give this a try and let you guys know in a future video. And then they also sent over their Illuminating Makeup Setting Spray with Honeysuckle Flower Extract. It's 97% natural. This one is the shade Stardust. And then this one over here is the shade Halo. So these probably have like glitter particles in them. Not the biggest fan of those kind of setting sprays, but I'll still give them a try and see what they're like. And then looks like lip toppers, let's see shimmering lip top coat so this is the shade supernova that's really pretty and then this one is the shade stargazer and then this one is wonderland how pretty is that and then this one is called twilight these are so pretty let me swatch these for you guys okay so these definitely have some nice pigmentation to them this is just one swipe of each and they're really really nice so the top one is stargazer and then the pink one is wonderland and then you have supernova and then the last one is twilight all right so let's see what else is in the box it looks like mostly masks what's this one this is um, a red clay facial mask stick. This is 96% natural. It says it's a targeted stick that detoxifies impurities and toxins. All right, so here we have Kiwi Slice sheet masks to nourish and comfort the skin. This has 10 of them in here, wow. And then Orange, sli orange Slice sheet masks improve overall skin tone. This one is Cucumber to cool, calm, and deep puff. And then rose to soothe and calm the skin. This one is a lemon jumbo peel swab. So it says it gently exfoliates to improve the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and uneven tone, 95% natural. So I guess, yeah, it feels like there's like a huge cotton swab in here. How does this even work? I've never seen something like this before. It says a saturated, individually packaged jumbo cotton swab that gently exfoliates to reduce the look of fine lines, wrinkles, pores, and uneven tone, formulated with lemon and a gentle yet effective AHA-BHA complex. The super saturated peel swab naturally sloughs off dead skin to hydrate, brighten, and smooth for a naturally glowing complexion. So it just says, after cleansing, sweep the swab across the face and neck, avoiding the eye area. Leave on until dry. Do not rinse. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before, so that's kind of cool. What's in here? This is a chamomile 
neck sheet mask reduces the look of fine lines wrinkles and creasing on the neck area i see it almost kind of looks like a neck brace huh there's definitely some like cool interesting products they're coming out with now and this one is a rainbow holographic foil sheet mask with seaweed locks in moisture for a smooth and healthy looking complexion 97 percent natural and then last but not least is the silver holographic foil sheet mask with jasmine. It says it locks in moisture for a smooth and healthy looking complexion with 97% natural ingredients. So everything in here kind of seems really interesting. So I'm going to give all this stuff a go. And if you would like to see a video and see more on these products from found, definitely let me know in the comments below. I also got a package from Sally Beauty and they had offered to send me the missing palette from these little collab palettes that I talked about last week. And this is the one I couldn't find in store. So that was so nice of them to send this over. And they also sent a bunch of other collab products for me to try out as well. So I'm really, really excited. I plan to swatch this on my Instagram page tonight. So I'm gonna insert the photos of that when I'm editing this video so that you can see what the palette looks like. I just love all the smoky tones and the greens that are in here. It's gorgeous. So let's see what else they sent over. Um, they sent two liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Lush Lover and this one is called Blindfold. So that looks like a true red and then this one's more of like a magenta shade. Um, this one is The Works Wow Effect All-in-One Mascara. Unbelievable false lash effect. You guys know I love that. Um, they also sent over the Bold Faced Waterproof Eyelining Pencil. Um, a blush and a highlighter, which I'll swatch for you guys in a second. Um, this is the Fundamental Eyeshadow Primer. And then the Fundamental Smoothing Primer. So it looks like I have almost everything I would need to do a look with this stuff. Maybe I'll run out and grab their foundation or one of the, I think they have a bunch of different ones. So maybe I'll go grab a foundation and a concealer and then do sort of like a whole look with collab products. Okay, so this highlighter is beautiful, you guys. It is so creamy and just shiny. It doesn't have any glitter to it at all. I mean, look at how smooth that looks. That's insane. So that one is called Glow for the Gold, and then the blush is called First Base, and that one does have a little bit of glitter to it. It reminds me a lot of NARS Orgasm. That might even be a really good dupe for that. So um, just loving these colors. These are so beautiful, especially that highlight. I was like, whoa, when I first watched it. So that is one swipe right there. That is so pretty. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and I have a couple of new packages to share with you that came in earlier today. Um, so this one is from the brand Star Skin and up until this point, I think they've mostly just had masks, but I'm so excited to see them um, branch out into more skincare products. So first of all, this entire line is made with cactus extract. So um, this one here says that it's made with 73% cactus. It's non-water-based, which everything in this collection is non-water-based. So so the first ingredient rather than being water is um, cactus extracts and they're silicone free. This particular product is 99.3% natural. So it says a luscious silky soft pudding concentrate of highly nutritive prickly pear cactus seed oil, thirst quenching cactus extracts and smoothing hyaluronic acid for an addictive long lasting glow. So this is a moisturizer. You just apply it to a cleansed face and neck. AM and PM works well under makeup, which I was really happy to hear. So let me show you guys the texture of this because it's so cool. Um, here's what the jar looks like. How gorgeous is the jar too? I just kind of want to set this out on my sink and just display it because it's so pretty. And then this is what it looks like. I already scooped some out. Like I said, I showed it on my Instagram stories earlier today, um, but it comes with this little spatula and it really does have a pudding like texture. It almost reminds me of scooping out yogurt. So when you put it onto your skin, it looks kind of a little bit chunky, but then once you rub it in, Oh my gosh, it's like the most hydrating thing ever. So my skin just looks so glowy and so soft. It also has a nice smell. It almost has, it kind of smells like lavender, I want to say. It's like a little bit herbal. But just looking at my hands side by side, like look at how much more moisturized and glowy this one looks. My hands are 
ridiculously dry and I burned myself on the oven a few weeks ago and this is still there I feel like this is gonna just scar now at this point because it's almost healed over but anyway um, yeah my hands are incredibly dry they're cracking and splitting but just looking at these side by side just in two seconds how much more moisturized this hand looks than this one so I'm really really excited to put these on my face tonight they also have this product here, which is the Pink Cactus Serum Mist. So this goes on before the moisturizer and it's a dual phase, so you need to shake it up. The packaging says it's a next generation dual phase serum. It's a multitasking glow giver that deeply infuses the skin with a shot of hydration and superfoods to prep the skin and multiply the moisturizing and illuminating effects of your skincare routine. Doubles as an extraordinary makeup setting and glow enhancing spray and midday hydration shot for instant radiance. So I'm curious to see what the um, sprayer is like on this. I don't wanna get it like all over the rug, but. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. That's like a really nice fine mist because there was no kind of like droplets coming out at all. It was just a quick, like really even mist. So definitely so excited about these two products. And then there are also two masks. So this one is the Pink Cactus Glass Mask. I'm sorry, it's like so reflective in this light here. Um, it says cool and glossy skin, 89% cactus and 99.5% natural silicone free again. Um, so this is just a jelly mask and it says, it gets its jelly texture from a blend of prickly pear essence and locust bean drenched in an ultra cooling serum made of 99.9% .9 natural ingredients. The mask delivers the desirable intensely hydrated Korean glossy skin in just 10 minutes. And that's the other thing I want to mention. All of their products are made in Korea, even though this is a US based company. And then this is the pink cactus mask. This one has a little vial of oil up here and it says step one, um, you break open the oil and you apply the oil to your face and then you put the mask on top of it. So it has sort of like a little muslin, I think it's muslin um, face mask. So let's see, it has super seed oils with a cactus drenched sheet mask to leave skin incredibly soft and smooth and reveal a healthy dewy glow. So that's kind of just like a little two-step mask. But anyway, guys, um, I cannot wait to try these products. So I will update you and let you know how everything worked out. And then also today I got my ColourPop order in the mail and I ordered the new brown sugar palette as well as their no filter foundation stick. So let's take a look inside at the palette. It's really, really pretty. I love the neutrals. It's really warm, but it also has a couple of cool shades in here that are really, really pretty. Um, let's just go ahead and swatch a few. Wow, that is gorgeous. I mean, obviously we all know ColourPop's formula is amazing, so um, I really don't have to say too much about that. You guys know. I love it, um, but just color wise, it's so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and insert some swatches because I plan to swatch this on my Instagram later. So I will show you what it looks like with all the shades, but I think this one has the potential to be another favorite because I would use every single shade in this palette. And then yes, I ordered the foundation stick, even though I hate foundation sticks and I never like any of them, but I just always keep thinking that I'm gonna end up liking one of them at some point. Um, so this one I got in the shade Fair 30C, and let's just swatch it a little bit. Okay, this one is definitely gonna be kind of too yellow for me, even though I think the C meant cool, um, but it kind of feels really lightweight. Um, my hand is super dry at the moment, but it doesn't look like it's clinging too bad. Um, it's kind of melting in really nicely. So, okay, um, definitely excited to give this one a shot. I just keep hoping that I'll find one that I like one day. So um, I'll keep you guys updated on this as well. Good morning, guys. So a box just arrived from Germany and Zoeva sent me over some of their new collections. This is the Spice of Life collection. It has a palette as well as a brush set. And then they also sent something called Plazer Boxes. It says, as a special treat, our chic Plazer Box highlight features first ever extensions to Zoeva's best-selling Caramel Melange and Cocoa Blend eyeshadow palettes so these are highlight palettes that go along with those two that is so cool and also a highlighter for the spice of life palette that just came out awesome it says like a box of chocolates i want our plazer boxes to delight customers with sumptuous finishes delectable shades and mouth-watering packaging 
That's true. I always love Zoeva's packaging because they do really look like confectionery boxes and chocolates and okay so these are the blazer highlights so um we'll get into those in a second but i'm dying to see the spice of life palette so let's open this one up okay so this is what the palette looks like isn't that gorgeous i mean i don't know if you guys are tired of warm tones yet but this one kind of does look a little bit interesting because it's not completely all warm tones and i love that olive green over there in the corner and this one right here, it's called Unlike Any Other. That looks so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a couple of these shades and see what they look like. Okay, so the top one here is that shade Unlike Any Other, and I thought it was gonna be silvery, but it actually goes on with sort of a rose gold shift to it. It's gorgeous. And then there's that olive green, which looks a little bit lighter than it did in the pan. That one surprised me as well. And then the orange shade underneath that is called Balance the Contrast. It's this one right here. And again, it's like, it's so pretty. They're so shiny, it's gorgeous. And then these two are the matte shades right here. There's more mattes, but I just swatched two of them to see what they're like. They're very velvety, very silky. So I'm I'm excited for this palette, you guys. And I think Zoeva is so underrated. Not a lot of people talk about them, but their palettes are so good and they're actually not too expensive either. I wanna say they're usually around $27. So, um, you know, you do have to order them from Germany, obviously, but they ship to the US. So, um, all right, let's move on to the brush set here. Let's see what this looks like. Let me just open it up quick and I'll come right back. And then here's the brush set. So it comes in this burgundy colored bag and then there's four brushes inside. So you get the Lux Powder Fusion, the Lux Soft Crease Brush, the Lux Crease Brush, and then the Brow and Liner Brush. So that collection is launching on November 12th, and so is this one. So let's open these up now and take a look. Okay, so this packaging is adorable as well. So it comes in this box, and when you open it, there's these three little palettes inside, and these are all highlight palettes. So there's one for Spice of Life to go with the Spice of Life palette, one for Cocoa Blend, and one for the Caramel Melange palette. Okay, so first is Caramel Melange. This one has, it's not quite white, it's looking white in the camera, but it has a pink shift to it. And then um, this one is just like a really pretty champagne gold color. And then this is the Cocoa Blend one. So you have this cooler toned highlight over here and then a pink as well. This one almost could be a blush. And this one, I think with Spice of Life, this could definitely be a blush on my skin tone. And then the highlighter is a really, really pale um, champagne color. So the top two are the Caramel Melange, and then the next two are Cocoa Blend, and then the two on the bottom is Spice of Life. So if you guys wanna see a video on this whole collection for holiday, let me know, or I could do maybe a full Zoeva video with all the products that I have from them. So um, definitely let me know in the comments below. Hey guys, it is Saturday morning and my Sephora order just arrived. I placed an order on Thursday for a couple of things that just launched. First up is the Pout Sparkling Rosé Volumizing Lip Serum from the brand Beauty Bio, and they're the company that makes the Glow Pro device. And I didn't want to spring for that, even though the 20% discount is going on now because I have no idea if it's worth it. So if you guys have tried that, let me know because they have a lip attachment now that's supposed to kind of go along with the serum and it's supposed to really help with like fine lines on your lips but this serum says it's an advanced lip serum designed to add volume and create the appearance of fuller plumper lips serum adds a touch of shine and helps add definition to create the perfect pout it says use as a base to prime and boost volume or wear over lipstick to enhance appearance and may be used alone or after treating with the glow pro lip micro tips so i'm really excited to try that it had good reviews so far i also got just as a free sample glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask i look at this almost every time i'm in sephora and i keep wanting to try it but i have so much skincare that i'm using right now i didn't want to spend the money but if it's a freebie hey why not um, so this has watermelon alpha hydroxy acid and hyaluronic acid for radiance and softening so i'll have to update you guys once i've tried that and the last thing i got is the huda beauty new nude palette and i am so excited for this you guys so let me just open it up and i'm definitely going to do some swatches okay so here's the packaging it's so pretty as always and then inside i am loving these colors because i feel like it's not just nudes in the sense of like browns 
It's also pinks and purples. There's some really beautiful cool tones in here. I think this is gonna be amazing on my skin tone. And then it also has these crazy like glittery looking, almost like diamond shades. So I'm not sure how those are gonna swatch yet. Um, they look like they're gonna be really chunky. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys some swatches really quick so you don't have to wait for the video. But I definitely plan to do a video on this palette because I feel like a lot of people want to know about it so um, hang on one second and let me get this swatched all right so here's the palette swatched this is absolutely stunning you guys the um, chunky looking shades are actually very buttery they hold together nicely when you dip your finger into them they're not crumbling all over the place like I thought they would and um, these two shades down here are glitters and then there's actually a cream concealer which you kind of can't see but that's where it is right here and in the palette it's here so I was expecting it to be um, a powder and then when I touched it and it was a cream I was surprised but I think that's kind of Cool that she did that because you need that base to add the glitters on top of so um, it's right there in the palette for you the only thing is you have to be careful not to get powder into it since it's right next to some other powder shades but other than that I mean these colors are absolutely gorgeous um, I am in love with this palette already so I can't wait to start playing with it and I will keep you guys updated and definitely do a video on it very soon all right guys so that's everything new for this week i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you're most interested in what you'd love to see me do reviews on have you purchased any of these products i would love to hear from you guys thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next video